Uh, so now I'm going to show how to make a little stamina system. So I have 20 stamina, and if I jump, it uses 7 stamina, but over time, um, that stamina replenishes again. But if I keep jumping, now I don't have enough stamina to keep jumping, so then I can't press jump, and it doesn't work. Um, and then if I press square, then it adds 10 to my st stamina, maybe from drinking a a water potion or whatever. Cool. So uh, first we start with a puppet. And I'll go into the logic. And we'll uh, make a microchip to hold all this stuff. So we can give it a little tidy. And we'll use a variable to hold the stamina. Uh, the advantage of this is mainly so that we can use certain features like adding a number and uh, adding a tiny number over time and things like that. So we'll name this stamina. And we can set the minimum value to zero and the maximum value to whatever our maximum value should be. Um, and then we'll use uh, modifiers and stuff to affect this number. So um, let's display the value just uh, for testing. So it has this current value output on the side and we can uh, expand the decimal places so we can see the value. Uh, and we can also set the initial value so that it's it starts off full, which makes sense. Um, cool. First we need a way of like reducing the value, so let's use the jump. Um, so instead of going straight into here and jumping every time, we'll first put it through here and then out the other side if we're allowed to jump. Um, and this should be a output. Uh, so first we want to make it a pulse because um, it doesn't work very well if you keep on um, pressing it, you keep on tapping X um, while you're in the air and things like that. Um, so we want to just know when we start pressing, which is what a pulse does. When we start pressing X, then it will send a, a little brief signal. Um, so let's just go for that with that for now. So when we jump, we want to use a variable modifier to subtract some number from the variable. So this is called stamina. You can go in here and type if you want to, or we can press up and down with the D-pad to go through variable names. And then we can use this to just power this uh, variable and we'll just put it through to the output as well. Um, and when it becomes powered, then it will add some number. So it could be a positive number or it can add a negative number. So it will just set it to seven. So now when we play, we can run around and we can jump. And we can just keep jump and it reduces the number, but we can keep jumping after that. So now we want to block that. Um, and to, you noticed um, it was jumping really short. That's because it only jumps for a tiny amount, so it jumps the minimum, uh, where is it, the minimum jump height. So set that to 100%, and then every time you press it, no matter how long, it will do a full jump. So now we want to check if uh, this should be allowed to jump. So let's add a calculator and use that current value. And if that current value is more than what's required to jump, which is seven, um, then we allow it to go through. So then we power the output node. So if this is not more than seven, or it's, I guess, put it slightly below, if it's not seven or more, then it won't, the signal won't go out and it won't jump. If it's seven or more, then it, the signal will go out. So let's try that. So I jump and it goes down seven. And again, oh, that second jump didn't work for some reason. Oh, the, so the reason um, this isn't working um, is because we are changing the value and then that is changing that and then that is checking the new value, which is too low, and then turning that off before it can get out. So what we really want to do is, uh, if we're already allowed, 
to send the signal out and we want to jump then we do it after we jump so this is this is before we jump and then this is actually making the jump happen so the jump will happen at the same time as it reduces the uh, stamina um, so then we can plug that in again and hopefully that should work cool so now I keep pressing X and nothing happens because uh, the number is not over seven so that's fine uh, but now we want to uh, uh, our stamina to just slowly creep up over time so that we can do more jumps so let's just copy that uh, modifier and we'll add some tiny amount continuously while powered so it's already powered so it will just be continuously that means 0 0.1 is added um, every frame uh, so that's quite quick so you can make it smaller if you wanted to um, but now when it gets over, over 7 we can jump again so to make that a smaller number you can uh, use a calculator or something or you can use L1 and square to edit it directly so now I can say 0.02 for example and it just shows 0.0 because it rounds it uh, for displaying but if you edit it again it still held that number so now if I jump it goes at a much slower pace to restore uh, before I can do more jumps uh, now let's add a button that um, just adds some set number to the stamina um, so let's add let's just copy the other variable modifier and this one will be uh, when powered on and we'll tie it to the square button so say this is like drinking a, a stamina potion or something you can just add let's say it adds 10 to the value so now um, when I'm jumping around and stuff I can stop and drink some water and it will add 10 and I can jump again uh, but it will never go beyond that maximum limit of the uh, variable. I'd like to thank the common people, Rev Player, VGA Ports Authority, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.